well. Hello and how are you? Anyway, greetings. Several people have been asking me for an update on my coffee wine, coffee wine experiments. My coffee wine recipes where I made one with filtered coffee and one with regular instant coffee. And what are the verdict is? Which one is better to make coffee wine? Is it the instant coffee or the filter coffee? To be honest, I don't know yet. I haven't tried, so that's what this video is all about. What's better, instant coffee or filter coffee to make coffee wine with? Come on, let's give it a try. So little man, what do you think? The posh filter coffee or the El Cheapo instant? They were both made in exactly the same way. I used the same quantity of coffee for both, the filter and the instant. They were fermented with the same quantity of yeast and the same type of yeast and kept at the same temperature throughout. Both the wines are fermented really well and they stabilised and finished fermenting at about roughly the same time. They were both fermented in the same way. So I really don't know which one's going to be it. If I was to repeat the recipe again, I don't know which one I would use, but I hope to find out now. So come on, let's pour a few glasses and do the taste test. Awesome stuff. You gonna help me? First up, the instant. I have to say about this wine is wow the colour glowing it's beautiful orangey tawny it's slightly oxidized rusty but it looks amazing it's not oxidized no it's just that colour of a bit of rusty rusty red which is brilliant and if you compare it to the filter coffee wine which I'll come to in a minute now you'll see the difference between the instant and the filter coffee. It smells as well. Rich, dense, dark, divine. Yeah, quite light and sweet on the nose. A little bitterish. Lots of tannins in there that really give it a good stick to the edge of your mouth. The great thing with this wine as well, at the instant, is it tastes as good as it looks. Light, airy, with that great underbody to it. A great... Bitter with citrus coming through. Lemony, a tangy. I think it needs to mature for another six months to a year just to let the flavours mellow out a bit. It still tastes slightly a bit too oaky. Right, I think we should move on to the filter coffee just to compare. Why not have two glasses on the go? Hey, instantly I can see the colour difference. This is not a light red. It's a dark, depressing, morbid red. It's the difference between instant and filter coffee. The colour, first thing that jumps out at me, filter coffee is much darker, foreboding. So come on, let's do the honours. <laughs> See, instantly you can see the colour difference between the filter coffee and the instant. Although they're both perfectly clear, the filter is much darker than the tawny instant. I don't know which I prefer the look of best. Somehow I'm more drawn to the colour of the instant coffee. It's lighter, it's fruitier looking, it's more slightly more appealing to me than the dark, dense, filter coffee one. Two glasses on the go. Can't fault that for a night, can you? Anyway, the filter coffee. 
really rich dark. It has a slightly toned down coffee smell to it compared to the instant. The instant is in your nose. Cheap coffee, vibrant, it's there, lively, like a Mexican carnival, whereas the filter coffee is slightly more reserved. It's more Parisian than Mexico. Never been to Mexico nor Paris, but just my feeding. The filter coffee, although darker and denser, don't mean to call the French dense, but the filter coffee is a darker colour but smells slightly more refined than the instant coffee. And it's sweeter as well. The instant, it kicks you in the back of the throat saying, I'm coffee, I'm strong, black, caffeinated, espresso style. Whereas this one is more reserved, but darker. Undertones that hit you. And it's sweeter as well, the filtered coffee. Uh, I'm liking this. So which one would get my vote to make again? The Instant has the best colour, in my opinion. If you like coffee, this is going to be... The Instant Coffee wine gets my vote. If you like coffee to be in your face, strong, double espresso and straight down your throat, this is the one. However, if you're looking for something a bit more subtle, with a darker colour, slightly easier on the palate, then the filter coffee is for you. If I were to make a coffee again, I don't know which I'd opt for. I'd make both. Both are equally drinkable and equally good. Both need a bit of maturing, so I'm going to set a few bottles aside. If I have any left, I've given a few away already. Maybe I shouldn't have done before I tested them myself, but... Anyway, they need another three, six, nine months to mature out, I think, just to become spot on. However, my next coffee wine is me another experiment, something I haven't done before. Something I haven't heard about being done before. What I'm going to make is Inca coffee. Inca coffee is a Polish coffee substitute. It's made of, well, to be honest, the packet's all in Lithuanian. The ingredients say that there's barley and wheat and grain and all sorts of chicory, barley and rye and all that jazz. It was popular in the 1970s in Poland, Lithuania and Eastern European countries when there's a coffee shortage. I said a coffee shortage. No, I found this packet that Dee's grandmother sent over from Lithuania in the back of my cupboard. Dee isn't really too keen on it, nor am I. I've never actually tried it, but I'd rather go for normal, normal coffee than a uh, decaffeinated substitute from Poland. And he said, yeah, you can put that in the bin. I'm not going to drink it. Why well, don't put it in the compost heap? I said, no, 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 my darling. I'm going to brew it up. So that's going to be coming up really soon. Inca Polish coffee wine. Because this wine, I've just tried now and tested and made brilliant. So I'm just wondering, what this would be like. Have you ever tried Inca coffee before? A coffee substitute? If you have, I'd love to hear if you've tried it and what it's like. Any tips how to make this Inca wine? Anyway, I'm going to go and finish off these two glasses and these two bottles and I will see you really soon with the next video. So subscribe and have a good day now. See you soon.